And you know what's funny? Shout outs to Geekdom. But as the biggest Dragon Ball YouTuber and being like, you know, one of his friends, like we talk outside of all this shit. Dude, he be venting to me. And it's so <laughs> fucking funny. And I'll I literally saw. like he'll tell me, yo, look at this shit. And I'll go look with <laughs> And then you linked it. Yo, when you linked that to me the other day, when you linked me that question, and I saw him just like, I saw him read the question, and he was just like, Yo, like he, I felt that, bro. I was just like, Oh no. Yo, okay, Brandon, I'm gonna I'm gonna repeat the question so that you're in you're in you're in the green here, okay? So you know what we're, what I'm referring to. So I was watching his live stream. Um, I missed it live, but I was watching it back on his YouTube channel, and he was literally oh, going over like all these like everything that, that it's known like spoilers and all this crap and someone literally paid him money okay this, this is a super chat the way it works on youtube stream is super chat you pay money and your 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 whole comment is highlighted for a certain amount of time so that the person that's streaming can you know give it attention and whatnot answer it and whatever right, right this right, dude right. paid probably like what a whole five dollars i don't even remember no i think it was 9.99 it was oh one of so those... it was a dollar or two what? i don't know what a dollar nine ninety nine? Oh, ten. Oh shit! See, yeah. I'm all fucked up. I'm because I I have the question in my head at the front of my head, so I'm like, yeah, sorry. Go, no, go ahead, go ahead. My bad, dude. This dude paid ten dollars. <laughs> Are you gonna pay money to lose brain cells? Like that's wild. He, yo. That's wild. <laughs> Yo, he paid ten dollars. He asked him, and I quote: <clears throat> "Can Dragon Ball Super Bardock defeat Dragon Ball Super Broly?" <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, no, that wasn't even that wasn't even my favorite question. My favorite question was: uh, "What do you, what do you?" I, I don't remember if it was "What do you think his role would, or what do you think Mr. Satan's role will be in this movie?" Oh yeah, I showed you that. I was, And they paid Brandon. They paid to ask that que those questions. So uh, like, imagine Bardock can be Broly. Like <laughs> Bardock, Broly. Oh nah. man, yo and yo, I'm gonna I'm yeah, gonna dude, do he my. Yeah, dude, got the thriving Ozaru. <laughs> I wonder how I wonder how I wonder how confident he was in typing that shit. Yo, you know that confident oh enough to spend money on it. What the fuck you talking about? The motherfucker was probably like, "This is probably a very great question to ask." Yo, and he fucking paid money for it. I'm just like, bro. It's yo. Did he, did he answer that question? Oh, he, he has to, dude. He answered it in the fucking best. I will get. That's what I'm saying. I have to shout him out because <laughs> he, yo, what, what, yo, he to a degree, you have to really say some fuck shit for him because he will pop off on you. I've seen it, and, and that's even <laughs> hilarious. That's I even hilarious. See it. I want to see oh, it. Oh, in that same video earlier, yo, he literally went off on somebody for saying that he was rude because they were trying to tell him that Disney owned Dragon Ball. Don't tell me they paid money to tell him that. Yes, it was a super chat. All the shit that he brings up because, dude, he had over, he had like 5,000 people watching him. So he can't just bring up shit from the regular chat like he tries to, right? But he's obviously going to give all the attention to the Super Chats because they're there for a you know, limited right. time. You know, it's only natural. He's only doing what he could as one fucking human being. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, he handles it so well. He's, he's constantly reminding you, like, guys, I appreciate all the comments, but I can't read them all. You know, there's 5,000 people in here. You know, if you want me to answer something... You know, I encourage you to super chat. That's fair. That's totally fine to do. And these people, even the head ass, pay money just to get fucking waxed verbally. <laughs> like, yo, I could never imagine paying money that I have to work my ass off to earn. Nah, dude. Mom's credit card OP. Yo, but see, that's... Either way, it doesn't matter. You're fucking wasting currency. That's not how they see it, though. They see it as they have an opportunity to be live and interact with somebody who they watch and they enjoy their content, and they get to see, they get to ask a stupid fucking 
question. But as long as they get to feel included and like they had a special moment with this dude, that's cool. That's all that matters. And that's awesome because as far as being a content creator, that's the shit that you want to feel. That's the shit that you definitely strive for. So that's cool. That's great for Geekdom that he already has that and everything. But we're just focusing on like the questions themselves and how fuckboy they are. True. Because wow. Like some of those, like, you know, not all of them, of course, but you know, some of those questions are just like, are you kidding me? Uh, like, listen, I hope we can get close to his level. And let me tell like, you, I would, I'll, I wouldn't be able I'll, to... I'll answer, I'll answer all those super chats. <laughs> nah, I'm glad, I'm glad because I wouldn't, if, if, if like, if I really was about to pop off on somebody, I'd just give them their money back. I'd just Venmo and be like, nah, take it back. I'm not answering this shit. Oh <laughs> like this, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like if I know if I know someone asked me some shit like some dumb shit that I really don't I'm not trying to clarify I'd be like nah take it here nah Cat. man I like <sighs> save it for Brandon because I can't <laughs> no see because that's the, that's the thing right that's good content you know people watch us because they like hearing us fucking bullshit about this stuff. And that's another thing, you know, you're always going to get those head-ass people that ask head-ass shit, not because they're dumb, but because oh, they want purpose. the reaction for it. Yeah, right. doing it on purpose. So, you know, that's the other half of it, too. But see, even that is okay when you can tell... No, 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 no. For example, the fucking... The Thriving Ozaru, that was intentional. That I mean, okay, but that wasn't... That they were not serious. They were not serious. That shit was a comment designed... To make that was us the laugh. the funniest comment I've ever heard. And it, and it worked. Uh, <laughs> and it fucking worked. That shit will never... That shit is like the type of shit you put on a fucking plaque on your wall. Dude, I'm never forgetting Thriving Ozaru ever. That shit was Dude, too funny. that was fucking great. And that's what I mean. You know? Like, like for example, <laughs> let's say we ever get to the point where we're doing this shit live. Like, not just on YouTube, but like at a convention or some shit. And we actually have people pull up and they're just watching us talk or they're literally just asking us questions we, right? we need does we need one of a one of the three of us i choose brandon i, vo I volunteer brandon as tribute to be the nigga that deals with head ass comments because it's nah, not gonna be me yo. It, okay. <laughs> it's not gonna be me because you know what you know what's gonna happen they're gonna have to start at KaiCast if they want to hear me vent on some shit because i'm not trying to answer some of these questions <sighs> Nah, see, at that point, you just have to be trained for it. Like, I'm trained. I know how to handle myself. I really, I literally, if it's dumb, like, if, if it's really stupid, I'll literally be like. You're going to soundboard him. <laughs> literally. Dig like, him out of here. <laughs> like, yo. Nah, but, that's literally what you got. Get him out of here. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. That's the first thing I would say. Yeah. And like, then I would, and then I would respond probably. Oh, hit the hit the fucking drop button. Be like, that would that would be very fun to be honest. Like, you know, people asking us questions, and then like, if it's a good one, they get the ding, right? And if it's a shit one, they get the fucking drop. Like, bro, what are you doing? You know, like, what are you doing? Like, I dare someone to come into this fucking podcast on some Disney owns fucking Dragon Ball bullshit. I dare somebody because <laughs> no for real because honestly it's just like you have the hardcore fans then you have the casual fans and then you have these people notice how I didn't use the word fans you just have these people that are just occupying space in the fandom that have absolutely no idea what they're talking about and you know what i am the kind of person that if you are so honest and real because i'm all about my real ones okay if you are so real with yourself and you acknowledge the fact that you are one of those people that go to facebook pages and instagram posts as your as your source of material for news and you believe anything that comes out of comicbook.com <laughs> Like, I will be totally accepting of the fact that you are willing to change for the better. By listening to us here at the Full Power Podcast, let us fucking educate you while we're entertaining you. So that way, your ass can be enlightened. 
because <laughs> like we, keep it, like... we keep it real over here. All right? And I will be damned if someone comes in with some head assery and they're, and, and, and they're not willing to learn. You know, because we can educate just fine. Like, someone right. could ask me a stupid question and be like, 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 Uchi, what do you think about this? Da, 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 da. Even if yeah, it was... You can, you can answer it respectfully, but there's some people that are just... Not, they they want to ask some head-ass shit, and they don't want to hear anything else but what they're, what they're ready to accept. Right. That's too bad. <laughs> yo, like, yo, Get you want to know a great example? And one day, he's probably going to come on this podcast. Juice. Our boy fucking Juice. Okay? He is a he and he knows this, right? So this is not me shit talking. He's my he's like my fucking brother. I would never fucking like actually shit talk him, okay? He knows that he looks at a lot of those things and he and he gets excited and he's like, yo, is this happening? I'm like, no. It's not. <laughs> like it, 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 like I'll never forget one time he screenshotted something and he sent it to me. He's like, yo, what do you think about this? Like, I'm like, bro, it's fake. And he'd be like, what i'm like dude it's fake <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not real like like he'll like see adult go tanks stop <laughs> it's too soon this movie's fucking coming shit. <laughs> too soon but yeah but the thing is right he's open to listen and when i correct him on this shit he accepts it and he's like, he has an oh and an aha moment rather than a keep questioning with more bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, see, he's not, he's not the type of people we're talking about here. Exactly. And I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay. Like, look, we're not elitists. Don't get me wrong. We might sound like it sometimes. Brother Ooch might sound like it for sure. Okay. But we're not. We're just some real ass fans, literally, that love and hate this shit for many several different reasons and that's all there is to it oh that's that good shit